today I'm going to show you how we put this gable end on this shed. Now it's just a tractor shed. It doesn't have to be all that fancy. This didn't actually come with the building kit, but it just makes it look a little more polished, a little more finished, and I think it's a nice touch because it covers up the the trusses, at least from a distance, and it just uh, gives a nicer look to the building. This metal um, is some that my daddy had laying around. I would probably wouldn't have put it on mine, um, and I definitely wouldn't put it on a customer other than his, but uh, just because it's oxidized, he would have never put it on a roof, but um, it'll be okay for this building, I guess. I'm gonna show you the tools that we used to build this. Like I said, it wasn't part of the kit. Uh, we used a Craig jig and Milwaukee M12 fuel nibbler that they just came out with to cut the metal. We're getting these gables put on. You can see I still ain't got the ridge cap put on this building yet. We're gonna get there. That's easy. I can do that by myself, no help. It's okay. Mm -hmm. No, they ain't got no battery in it. <laughs> you have to get the battery from the Lord. Hey. Oh! <laughs> and here's what we're ending up with with these Craig joints that we're making. You can see where we, uh, drilled Craig holes to fasten the uh, uh, laterals or whatever you want to call them up to the bottom of the purlins. Two Craig holes in our little struts or studs I guess. And then we are going to come in here in the center and we're going to drill a little hole and put a block in to just to give it a little bit of strength where the wind don't get it rocking. Um, right in here before we put this next sheet of metal on. And then we're going to attach it to that uh, cross member there in the center. is I'm using a template piece that I made that has the angles to the top and the bottom on this gable and then I'm using the long side of my last piece to transfer that measurement to the short side of the next piece and then transferring the angles and cutting. It's a good way to keep your metal correct all the way up the rake or the gable. There's not a whole lot to tell you about this nibbler. It works really good. It does a really good job for cutting across the ribs. You won't make the straightest cut with it like you can with a pair of snips. If you've ever used a pair of snips uh, cutting across the rib with material like this, you will appreciate a tool like this. It's not very cheap but I would say that carpal tunnel surgery is not very cheap either and cutting across these ribs with pair snips is very difficult time consuming and very very hard on your hands so I feel like this was a pretty good investment I would definitely recommend using the chip bag that comes with it because it makes a heck of a mess if you do not it will have those little sharp shards everywhere Sometimes you just gotta be creative. Craig joints are not only for making cabinets, they can be for uh, farm sheds too. 